These folks got a right to be proud. They've been building the number one minivan for seven years now. Sure, the competition's tried to beat them, and they've tried just about every size and shape you can think of. Round, square, big, small. But nobody's been able to beat the original. So we did. We rounded the corners and lowered the front end so you can see even better. We redesigned the interior with contoured seats, a new instrument panel, and glove box. We also put in these rear seat shoulder restraints and a new front suspension that really hugs the road. You can get analog brakes to help you stop and all-wheel drive to help you go. Now the competition can stop wasting their time trying to copy our old minivan and start wasting their time trying to copy our new one. The most impressive thing about the new Macintosh computers isn't how little they cost, it's how much they're worth. For almond lovers, it's a match made in heaven. Hershey's Kisses with Almonds. The big idea. Like all parents, I enjoy teaching my kids to play ball and ride a bike. But reading to your children is just as important for both mothers and fathers. It's fun, and it will bring you and your kids closer together. It's also hard to think of anything else you can do that will help your children more in school or in life. So take the time to make a difference. Read with your children. A cop behind bars. Looks like you don't have too many friends in there. Well, you want to be my friend? Learns to roll with the punches. I'm taking you into custody. Do you understand each of the constitutional rights I've just explained to you? Wednesday on Cop Rock. Then assume the position. When creating the new G20 midsize luxury sedan from Infinity, these were just a few of the amenities we kept in mind. Seating surfaces that are fitted with leather, a cabin that heightens the level of comfort and stretches the limits of space. Of course, with 16 valves and 140 horsepower, that mind also has an alter ego. Selling. If I wanted to hire the finest long-distance marksman in the world, have I? Laura San Giacomo, the provocative beauty of sex, lies, and videotape. Alan Rickman, the unforgettable villain of Die Hard in a film by Simon Windsor. Emmy Award-winning director of Lonesome Dove. Quigley, Down Under. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Previously on Cop Rock. I need the money, okay? We got no food, we got no place to stay. I'm sorry. 200, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't hate me, baby. You were described as being plug ugly, too ugly to live, ugly enough to scare horses and children, and ugly enough to stop trains. Dr. Watoon, can you make me pretty? Your Honor, I will make you beautiful. There are a lot of people who feel the shooting wasn't justified, Chief. What people? Me, for one. What's that? A statement saying that I witnessed the murder of Tyrone Weeks. You're under arrest. This man is not just a flight risk, Your Honor. He is a violent individual who represents a risk to each and every one of us. Half a million dollars is not unreasonable bail. Come on, Karen. This man's never been arrested. He has roots in the community, Your the Honor. I mean, the district attorney's this... office believes, Your Honor, that Vincent LaRusso will, in fact, flee the jurisdiction if faced with the possibility of imprisonment. I have to tell you, I'm inclined to believe the same thing. Well, with all due respect, Your Honor, I think we should consider what keeping a cop in jail means. Prisoners look at him and say it's payback time. He's isolated, he's despised. I mean, uh, why in God's name are we forcing this man to go through that? He's been charged with murder, Counselor. The defense asks that the bail be set in the amount of $50,000, Your Honor. No can do, Mr. Weitz. A half a million dollars it is. Next case.
number 509721. All right, Trish is filing for an appeal as we speak. That's one thing. Next, I'm going to get a court order to keep you segregated from the general population. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. Meaning nobody's looking to cut me any slack right now, you know? Of course, if you're really that worried, you could put up the money yourself. <laughs> I learned a long time ago, Vincent, there are some things you do for your clients and some things you don't do. Posting bail? Mm, that's one of the things I don't do. Keep your chin up. You can lock me up, throw away the key. It don't make no never mind to me. You can chain me down like a junkyard hound, bury me six feet in the ground. But you can't keep a good man down, no. You can't keep a good man down. If you want a piece of me, just take your place in line. But you better not miss and you better not waste my time. You can shove a blade inside my heart, but you damn well better finish what you start. Cause you can't keep a good man down, no. You can't keep a good man down. Come on, come on, give me what you got now. Step up, step up, take your best shot now. Take a real good look at this man right here. Got a heart of steel, don't feel no fear. If you come for me, better say your last goodbyes. Cause the man who does is gonna be the man who dies. You can't run from a nightmare, man. If you shut my eyes, I'll rise again. Cause you can't keep a good man down, no. You can't keep a good man down. You can't keep a good man down. No, you can't keep a good man down. Days of sunshine, tears and rain, precious memories of years go by. Are you sure? I... Uh-huh. I... Yeah, I, I will. Thanks. Bye. 
Ralph, somebody died? Yeah. According to my doctor, me. Unless I drop 35 pounds. So do something about it. <laughs> sure. Like give up all my worldly pleasures. No. Bobby, I can't eat the stuff you eat. Beats open heart surgery, Ralph. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. You run five miles a day. You're a vegetarian. I'll draw up a diet. High fiber, low fat. I'll put down the kind of exercises you need. Give up fried foods, desserts, and dairy, and you'll improve your cardiovascular condition 100%. You'll also drop some of that weight. Great. Officer Quinn. Hi, Patty. Can I talk to you? Sure. I mean, can I talk to you in private? Yeah. Go on in. I sold my baby. What do you mean sold? I sold her for two hundred dollars. Now I, I told I told myself that it was the best thing for her, and then I, I told myself that I had no choice. I told myself whatever I I had to, and I sold her to get money for drugs. So, um. Now, I know that unless I get help and and get off drugs and get my baby back, that I'm going to I'm going to kill myself. So. Um, I was just I was just wondering if you could please help me. Because um, I've got nobody else that I could turn to. She'll tell us anything she knows, Captain. All right. She'll help us get the guy who bought her kid. What did you promise her? Nothing. So she knows she can be prosecuted herself. I think she's hoping that won't happen. What? Does this have any deja vu in it for you, Vicky? Her offering us information, then lying to us, then jerking us around. In my judgment, that won't happen this time. In your judgment? Yes, Captain. Let's get Detective McIntyre in on this. My girlfriend Amy had this lawyer one time who helped her beat the solicitation thing. She told me that he knew somebody who could do this, who could sell your baby for you. Mm -hmm. So I went to the lawyer, and he said, no, no way, that, you know, Amy must have been making it up. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? So then this guy, Glenn, gets in touch with me, and uh, he never mentions the lawyer. But I figured that that was it. That was how he found me. Yeah, Glenn's just Glenn, no last name? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you went through with the sale of your baby? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the lawyer's name? Philip Beamer. <laughs> That's somebody we know, Bobby? Yes, Mr. Beamer's known to us. All right. There isn't anything more. See to it that she's booked. What? Keep me informed. You got it, Captain. All right, Patty, listen to me. I want to explain something to you. She cooperated. She gave us everything she had. And she copped a felony. Captain, she came forward of her own free will. I understand that. And if that helps her down the line, that's well and good. But right now, my job is to make the bust. Do you understand that, officer? Yes, but good. Don't touch me. Look, I didn't. Yeah, right. I just walked right into it, didn't I? This wasn't supposed to happen. You know, I thought I came here with nothing to lose. Oh, boy, was I wrong. You lied. You said it would be all right. You lied. You told me to stand up and fight. And I tried. Oh, how I tried. Look where I am. Hey, I should have known not to listen to you. I should have known what you 
Audrey's the bait. To you, Audrey, to the bait. And Cooper's the target. Audrey, for $125,000. <gasps> I've got a dangerous situation. Who do you trust at Twin Peaks Saturday? Man, oh man. It started with close and comfortable. Now the new Norelco razor brings you even closer with the same legendary comfort. To reach this new level of shaving perfection, our patented lift and cut system has been improved to lift each hair and cut it even closer without the blades touching your skin. So you get an even closer shave with the same incredible comfort. The new Norelco. It's more than a great shave. It's a whole new level of closeness and comfort. If you're trying to lose a few pounds and butter is out, you're going to love this. Molly McButter. Now you can shake on the taste of butter for just four calories. Molly McButter. Molly McButter Natural Butter Flavored Sprinkles. The taste of real butter with only four calories per serving. A very wholesome, 100% natural, four little calories. So indulge yourself. Molly McButter. You've got Molly now. Introducing the new scoop. You'll find the sporty new scoop is just one surprise after another. Beginning with who makes it. The new scoop from Hyundai. Yes, Hyundai. ABC is proud to announce the premiere of a series of specials on the world around us. Starting with Cougar, Ghost of the Rockies, on ABC's World of Discovery, Sunday at 7, 6 Central. She was a widow before she was a wife. Somebody shot my husband in broad daylight. You could be in danger yourself. The man she married had a secret past. You really know everything about the men you love. David Stoll, Susan Lucci, The Bride in Black, Sunday. Hey, detective. Looks like you don't have too many friends in there. Well, you want to be my friend? No, man. I don't want to be your friend. Then how come you stand so close? This ain't close. I tell you what, you come any closer, you're going to be missing some parts. Then what you going to do, man? Try me. See what happens. 
There's only one of you here now. Yeah, that's right. And maybe some of my blood's gonna be on the floor, but you know what? You gotta sleep. And when you're sleeping, maybe I'll sharpen a toothbrush and stick it in your eye. Or when you get out, maybe I'll kill you in front of your kids. See, but you'll never know until it happens. You don't scare me, man. That's just talk. That's talk. Anybody else want to talk? Huh? I uh, don't know why you're here. Look, we've tried everyone, Mr. Beamer. The doctors, the adoption agencies. You probably know the rigmarole they put us through. Uh, frankly, no. No? Mr. and Mrs. DeMeo, when it comes to babies, I don't know, diddly. Where'd you even get the idea that I could help you with something like this? Money's not a problem for us. Look, all we heard is that you could be trusted to do things quietly. Was it a mistake coming here? Uh, it was. Please, Mr. Beamer, we're desperate. We want a child so badly. I'm sorry. Come on, hon. You have our number. There's really nothing I can do. Nobody's talking to you. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's talking to you. Hi. What are you doing here? Nothing. I just wanted to see how you were. Well, how do I look? Listen, I just want you to know I couldn't stop them from arresting you. <sighs> okay. Right. Is there anything else? Nobody's quitting. We're going to do everything we can to recover your baby. Well, a lot of good that's going to do me here. Look, you got to deal with one thing at a time. Hey, hey, I know what I got to deal with. And I know what it's like to deal with it in here. Have you ever tried to kick in the joint? No. Well, then do me a favor. And don't come around here acting like you know what you're talking about. Patty, you got... No, no, no. You got nothing to say to me. <laughs> Need some change, Lieutenant? No, I don't want any change. Sorry. You want to see something, Gaines? Take a look at this. This is what I get to munch on when I get hungry between meals. Here, come here. Take a look at this crap. This, uh, that's celery. That's, uh, that's cauliflower. Plus jicama. Mm. And I get some cardboard to nibble on when I need fiber. Hey, what's jicama? I haven't the slightest idea. You know, it amazes me how many different kinds of vegetables there are in the world. God almighty, what's in there? You want to know? Yeah. Well, there's soy milk, guava, a little brewer's yeast, a little uh, wheat germ. I'd sooner starve to death, you know that. I mean, without meat and without grease, I'd starve. Knock yourself out, man. No. Telephone's ringing. Go. Yeah. So, if you want, we could meet and talk. Uh, when? How about right now? Fine. You know the Wheeler Boulevard entrance to the park in Silver Lake? There's a footpath. I'll find it. Let's go. You just like to order me around, Ozzy. That's all this is. I gotta tell you, Chief. Seems appropriate in this instance. Well, it does, huh? Dinner for the Police Protective League. The mayor's got to go. You've got to go. But why do I got to go with her? I'll tell you why. Because she is a man-eating tyrant whose only pleasure in life is making men grovel in the mud like little... little... mud critters. This is typical of your woman in power. 
She just wants a strong arm to lean on, Chief. Women on top. That's what the future holds, Ozzy. Women governors, women senators. You got that now. What about women presidents? Are you ready for that? What about a woman chief of police? <laughs> Osborne, sometimes I think you've got no imagination. Some of the color of his hair. Here we go. Dan? Allison? Yes. You're what I pictured. Nice people. We're pretty nervous. Sure. Anybody would be. This is a big step. Becoming parents, becoming a family. Uh, what we're nervous about is going through you. We wouldn't want to get in any trouble. There won't be any trouble. Could I stay in business doing what I do if people got in trouble? You want a baby? More than anything. Sure. Can you help us? As a matter of fact, something's just come my way. It's what I'd have to call an optimum situation. Young mother, a kid in her teens, smart enough to realize that she's not ready for the responsibility of bringing up a brand new baby boy. I don't know if that makes a difference, boy or girl. No, a boy's what we want the most. A Caucasian child, two weeks old, in perfect health. And how much is this going to cost us? $11,000. Well, that's more than we heard. Stay available. I'll be in touch. Cop Rock will continue in a moment. 
Death and taxes are part of life for every American, except the rich. Congress seems willing to let millionaires die wealthy. Who pays and why on Primetime Thursday? This is a News Center 25 News Brief. Good evening, I'm Sheila O'Connor. And I'm Jim Brosmer. Health officials believe two people are dead, the result of mosquito bites. Those mosquitoes were apparently carrying the St. Louis encephalitis strain. Halloween just around the corner now. What are parents doing to keep their children safe? Leaders in one community say they don't want to be like Lake Worth and Delray Beach when it comes to adult establishments. They want to protect themselves now before it's too late. Craig is watching a new tropical depression in the Atlantic, and Mark gives us a look at Game 1 of the World Series on the Nightcast at 11. Everything the Germans know about brewing beer can be summed up in one word, Bex, the number one imported German beer. Angel Soft Bath Tissue is now softer because it's soft and moist to be plumper, springier, gentler. New Angel Soft, it's softer. Now, direct from our little angels, come loads of gifts for your little angels. You'll find the Angel Soft Heavenly Fun Gift Catalog in specially marked packages of Angel Soft. Look for this insert in Sunday's newspaper. In the Atlantic, another depression forms. Details later. <laughs> One of the biggest blockbusters of the season is not an action-adventure movie or a sci-fi thriller. In fact, it's not even playing at your local movie theater. It's at your local Subaru dealer. It's the Subaru Blockbuster. Talk about a powerful performance. You can get the Subaru Legacy L sedan with air conditioning, cruise control, and AM-FM stereo cassette at spectacular savings. The Subaru Blockbuster. This one is a must-see. Now playing at a Subaru dealer near you. Marjorie Turner has a little problem. She get rid of Harry and have an affair. She's married to it. Then one afternoon, Marjorie's little problem disappeared. This is still life. And left her with one big problem. I killed him! What's the cause of death? Sex. Sex? Exactly. It was not sex. Kirstie Alley. It was good. Sibling rivalry. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, October 26th at select theaters. Remember when the game of Trivial Pursuit was just for road Scholars? Not anymore. Now there's the Trivial Pursuit 60s edition. That idiot, uh, guys, Byron. for three days in 69, what was New York's third largest city called? Woodstock, man. Fire out. Right on. I do not want to see him on my... Hey, guys, what was the 60s tribal love rock musical? Hair. <laughs> the Trivial Pursuit 60s edition. Questions anybody can answer. What TV comedian first ran for president in 68? Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> the new Trivial Pursuit 60s edition from Parker Brothers. Oh, Peter, be careful. What's wrong? Oh, honey, you didn't tell me your back was hurting. Wait, I have something for you. Ah, here. It's Motrin IB. Same medicine as in prescription Motrin, except it's the non-prescription strength. One works as well as two regular aspirin. <laughs> Says who? Says my doctor. Just take it. You'll feel better. And don't worry about the box you dropped. That's your stuff. Motrin IB, recommended by thousands of doctors. And your wife. Want to know more about talking to your children about AIDS? Send for a free information guide. Call 1-800-342-AIDS. Thursday. You think I'm the worst thing that could ever happen to you, and it excites you, doesn't it? An attorney falls for her client. He's not going to hurt me. Guy killed two at close range with a handgun. Till Gabe turns up the heat. Gabriel's fire, Thursday. some good news for you. The Court of Appeals ruled that half a million dollars was excessive and unreasonable bail. They knocked it down to 100000 It's 10000 cash. I don't have $10,000 in cash. How much do you have? I got 2500 in the bank. That's it. All right. You put up what you have in the bank, and I'll put up the rest. I thought you didn't post bail for your clients. Sydney doesn't. I do whatever I want to do. 
Listen, I'm okay here, you know what I mean? I'm fine. Does that mean you want to stay? It means you don't have to worry about me. I'm not worried about you. Then why would you put up your own money? It's really not enough to worry about, Vincent. Ralph! I got your lunch. Vicky, for crying out loud. I can't go on eating this, girl. Look at the colors. No, don't take this. Ralph! It's your diet. It's your health. If you don't want to eat it, it's up to you. There's a message on the machine from Glenn. Let's do it. No, how's the diet? What? Don't count on me for dinner. Bon appetit. Lieutenant, triple homicide, MacArthur Avenue. You better get over there. Good. Take my mind off food. What do we got? Uh, we got three male Caucasians. Late 50s, early 60s, all three shot, all three dead. <laughs> I think I typed the rent. Ah, nothing's been touched. Beautiful. Thought I'd wait on the report and just take it down from you verbatim. All right, here. All right. Designating North as uh, 12 o'clock. Individual seated at 3 o'clock appears to have been hit four times. Their gunshot wounds approximately a quarter inch in diameter, one in the mandible, three in the lower right quadrant of the skull. Individual seated at 6 o'clock appears to have sustained two gunshot wounds, approximately the same dimension, one just above the sternum, one in the vicinity of the first thoracic vertebra. Right. Individual seated at 9 o'clock shows wounds running up the left side. One in the vicinity of the tibia, one in the vicinity of the femur, and one somewhere between the ischium and the pubic simplicis. Postmortem lividity has not as of yet set in. You got all that? Yeah. Well, maybe you should see if you need it outside. Yes, sir. You relax, we could be here all night. Should I be here by now? Come here. Lie down on the bed, watch an X-rated movie with me. Here we go. What? It's a fabulous bed they got here. Hey, look, this isn't all fun and games, Andy, okay? This really makes you nuts, doesn't it? Pretending we're married. It really doesn't bother me one way or the other. Well, it just so happens I love it. How do you like that? I love the whole idea of being married. Really? What is it you love? Everything. You know, picnics on the 4th of July, carving the turkey on Thanksgiving, opening presents on Christmas. Mm. What do you do between holidays? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, you don't have a clue about marriage. Educate me. Well, one day's pretty much like the next. You go to sleep with the same person you woke up with, you do it seven days a week. <laughs> and if all you're doing is pretending, Andy, <laughs> you're gonna get really bored. Because most days are not holidays. So does that mean you don't wanna lie down on the bed? I do this. Lock 
Show me what you've got. I'm gonna go and see if he needs a diaper change. Already the little mother, huh? Yeah. Stick around for an hour before you go. Right. Police! Don't move. Hold it. All right, nice and easy. Let's go on your face. Your client's run out of room, counselor. No way, no how is he walking away from this. We got him. Let me tell you what you got. Nothing. I don't even think you can make a case, let alone get an indictment. I mean, I read in the paper, you got cops on trial for murder. Now, a questionable entrapment situation like this, I, mean, I don't know why we're even talking. Cut the crap, Beamer. What are you offering? Well, I gotta tell you, for all your efforts, what you managed to reel in was a guppy. This guy's a nobody. This guy's a scumbag. So what? This is a major syndicate. Branch offices in 13 states. He can lead you to the real players in all this. For which, in return, he wants immunity. Right. So you can decide right now whether you want to put the screws to him because he's a scumbag or let him go and bring down a whole organization. It's going to take some time before we know whether what you tell us pans out. In the meantime, let's show a little good faith right now. How? Oh. Tell us who you sold Patty Spencer's baby to. I thought I'd locked that outside door. Yeah, you did. I see. Do you want to tell me what brings you here? Well, I thought I'd come by and thank you. Personally. You didn't have to do that. Well, you did something you didn't have to do. Anyway, since I assume you don't do this for all your clients, I gotta wonder why you did it for me. I'll just bet you've got a theory about that, don't you, Vincent? Yes, I do. I think there's something going on between me and you, and I think it's been going on since the first time we were in a room together. Do you? I also think that no matter how busy you are, and no matter what's going on in all other aspects of your life, when you get bit, you're bit. And, um... You think that I'm bit, no? Yes, I do. Well, assuming that that's true, exactly what do you want to do about it? Whatever you want me to do. Hold at your wrists. Why? I'm taking you into custody. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed free of charge. Do you understand each of the constitutional rights I've just explained to you? Yeah. All right. Then assume the position. Fatal Vision, murder so brutal it became a miniseries. Now there could be reason to believe this Green Beret doctor is innocent after all. Plus, after a lifetime together, what makes a couple call it quits? Divorce after 60. Watch 2020, Friday. Along the edge of San Francisco Bay, just off the Embarcadero, you'll discover the Fog City Diner. Elegant as a formal dining car, yet friendly as a Main Street cafe, where people reserve weeks in advance to taste the red curry mussel stew or the grilled chicken with roasted peppers. So leave your troubles behind, but bring your Visa card, because at Fog City, they take things easy, but they don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. 
Is it a little indulgent to color your hair with preference? Feels that way. Special conditioning gives hair a shine, so the color's glossy, the look's healthy, you feel beautiful. You're worth it. Performing preference from L'Oreal. Some ripened raisins, nestle milk chocolate, mm, that's as good as it gets. I want to catch some raisins. Catch some raisins. Catch some raisins, catch some raisins. Oh, yeah. I'm not a complainer, but one thing I've noticed, when I have a headache, headache, headache. headache. Tylenol helps, but sometimes not enough. So when I heard that Excedrin came up with aspirin-free Excedrin, it. Guess what? It worked better than my extra strength Tylenol. He headache. headache. I mean, when I can get something that works better on my he headache, headache. headache, why shouldn't I? From the makers of Excedrin, aspirin free Excedrin, at last. Hi, Rick Nees here tonight. Hop in bed. Tune in. We've got Jackie Collins, comedian Ron Shaw. Check out the music of Peter Allen. End of the night. Late night tonight. AIDS, a prognosis for America. Tomorrow, how the disease became an epidemic, and also dating and relationships in the age of AIDS. Here on Good Morning America, tomorrow. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I'm Detective McIntyre of the Los Angeles Police Department. Are you Jody Lancaster? Yes. What the hell's going on? Sir, are you William Lancaster? What do you want? Sir, I have a warrant here charging you with 181 of the penal code, slavery. I'm afraid both you and your wife are under arrest. Please give the infant to the uniformed officer, ma'am. No, no, get away from me. Stand back, sir. No, 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 sir, no, stand back. Take my baby, no. No, 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 sir, step outside, please. Ma'am, no, 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 the mayor will be with you in a minute. Her last meeting ran late. Tell her not to hurry. You looking at something? No. Good. If you aren't one ugly woman, Mayor, if you aren't the foulest looking buzzard beat Gila monster I ever saw. Chief Kendrick? Yes, ma'am? Are you ready? I'm waiting for the mayor, ma'am. Here I am. That's you, Mayor Blank? In the flesh. <laughs> Do I take that as a compliment, Chief? Uh, yes, ma'am. Darn right. Well, then I think we ought to be leaving. Sure thing, ma'am. After you, ma'am. Hey, Bobby, you know I'm rethinking this whole exercise. Keep it up, thing. Ralph. Just, I... No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. They tell me I'm in trouble If I don't change my ways I could drop dead on the floor But what's the good of living To the end of your days If your days are no fun anymore 
Look at all those fools just staring in the mirror. I swear they got more brawn than brains. And here I am turning into nothing but a ball of pain. Now everybody's telling me to lose some weight. But that's not the way I'm designed. It may be their idea of living, but brother, you know it's not mine. You gotta hump it to pump it. You gotta work out. You wanna stay on the track, yeah. Then it's in when you lose your win. Turn your back on Mr. Heart Attack. I'm spending all my time sitting at a desk. I never was a cop on the beat. Hell, it's been 15 years or more since I could see my feet. Now, all of a sudden, I gotta get in shape. Or else they're gonna leave me behind. It may be their idea of living, but brother, you know it's not mine. You gotta use it or lose it, no pain, no gain. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice. No more peanut butter, no more mayonnaise. It's the last call for cholesterol. So goodbye to the donuts, the steak and the potatoes. Goodbye to the blueberry pie. The thought of cottage cheese is enough to make a grown man cry. I'm riding all these miles and going nowhere. It's such a stupid waste of my time. It may be their idea of living, but brother, you know it's not mine. It may be their idea of living, but brother, you know it's not mine. Oh. I need a beer. Captain? Um, can I speak to you? Sure. Speak. Patty Spence should be in a drug treatment program. And instead, she's in jail. Now, her baby should be with its mother and instead is in a temporary foster home. That's the way the DA wants it, Vicky. Well, you think that's right? She sold her baby for drug money. Was that right? Look, she was a sick, desperate junkie when she did it. Now she's trying to get straight. A little compassion could go a long way here. It's not my call. Well, with all due respect, Captain, you could make it your call. Look, I'm going to be real honest with you. As a cop and as a parent, I have a hard time feeling any sympathy for this woman. I'm not sure she deserves any breaks. And Glenn does? Come on. Vicky. No, this is wrong. Glenn gets immunity. Patty gets jail. <laughs> the baby gets yanked out of a safe, loving environment and thrown into this stinking bureaucracy. You're out of line, officer. And you... everyone is worse off than they were before. I can't help that. It was a lovely evening, Roger. 
Thank you very much for being my escort tonight. Cat got your tongue? Louise, I just want to say, in all the years I thought I knew you, I guess I didn't know you at all. And that in my entire life, the sun never rose on a happier night. <laughs> or the moon neither, for that matter. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is I should have seen your natural beauty just hiding in there. Louise, Your Honor, would an old cowpoke be overstepping his bounds if, if he were to... Kiss? Chief, your hair's standing up like, like, I don't know what, like, l like a boy's. Well, uh, I guess I better be mosing. Well, then, then perhaps we'd better say goodnight. Good night, Roger. If you come for me, you better say your last goodbyes. Cause the man who does is gonna be the man who dies. You can't run from a nightmare, man. If you shut my eyes, I'll rise again. Cause you can't keep a good man down, no. You can't keep a good man down. You can't keep a good man down. You can't keep a good man down
America's watching ABC.